everyone. So today's video is going to be a mini makeup haul video. So I have bought stuff recently from TJ Maxx, Ulta, and ColourPop. So I thought why not go ahead and show you guys what I have recently picked up. But before we get on into this video, you guys know the drill. Make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my future uploads. But other than that, I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. All right, so I only picked up about two things recently from TJ Maxx, so I'm gonna show you guys those things first. So I picked up two foundations. Um, so the first one being from Marc Jacobs, and this is the Remarkable, Remarkable, I see what they did there. A, I I see you. Full coverage or full cover foundation. I paid $16.99 for this and it's like originally $23 or that's what the compared price is. But so, you know, I like to try out different foundations. Don't know if this is my shade. I'm hoping it is, but I'll have to try it out soon. But here is what the packaging looks like. Very sleek looking. It's quite thick. And then I'm assuming. How does this work? Um, I'll have to look up how to use this. I thought it was a pump and then I thought it was a doe foot, but that is not a doe foot in there. So I will have to uh, see how I'm supposed to use this. <laughs> Because I thought it was a pump, but then I pulled this off, and that is not a pump. So, there's the first product, or there's the first foundation I picked up, and then the second one I picked up is from Beauty Blender. And this is the Bounce Liquid Whip Longwear Foundation. I've, I've heard a lot about this foundation, you know, when it first came out. Uh, didn't ever really care to go, you know, pick it up at full price, but I did see it at... TJ Maxx, you know, it's the one where you're supposed to like, you know, have it come out right here and then you just dip your sponge there and yeah. But you know your girl, if I can get um, makeup that I've been wanting to try out at a discounted price, I'm going to do it. All right, so that's everything I got recently from TJ Maxx. So I'm going to go on ahead and move on to my ColourPop order. My box got beat up. But it's okay. I already inspected everything and everything's fine. I forgot to mention how much I picked this up for this foundation. It was $12.99 uh, compared to $22. Alright, so I picked up two uh, one of their five pan, 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 pan um, eyeshadow palettes from ColourPop. We have the Swap, I think is what it says. And then the, one of the Lyrics. I don't remember how much these were. I'm guessing they're like $12 or something. Um... This one is a little scratched up, but it's fine. The packaging got a little scratched, but that's not really what's important. Although this shimmer shade looks like it's about to pop out, so I'll have to be careful. I think they maybe, maybe they filled it up too much because it's like, see how it left a little print there. Anyways, there are the colors. That was real cute. Like a nice neutral, my camera won't focus. It's a nice neutral um, palette. Cause you know your girl likes her neutrals. But anyways, this is the Lyric palette. I think I said that already, but. All right, and then the Swock or whatever. I know this one's from their, uh, from the Valentine's Day um, collection that they launched a while back. Anyways, there it is, super cute packaging. Kind of got more like reddish kind of tones to it. So cute. And the whole reason why I went ahead and picked these products up is because I've been trying to get my hands on this next product for a long time. I missed it when it came out in the launch. Um, and then after that, it was constantly out of stock. And then after, like, they would announce that it got restocked. And then I'd go to go get it and it would be already sold out. So this this product it took me a while to get my hands on it at least like three or three restocks i missed or maybe only two maybe i'm being dramatic but it seemed like a lot so that is this uh pressed blush here this pressed powder blush and it's from the uh 
Valentine's Day collection and everybody was just loving the packaging or the product, I don't know which, but it is a super cute product. I mean, look how cute the packaging is. It's a blush, I think I already said that, but it's in this cute little heart, you know, packaging and I really wanted it because I really like the look of the packaging. You know, plus the shade of it looked really nice. Um, but here it is. So I'm really glad to have finally gotten my hands off of it. I wish I had tried harder to get this collection when it first got released because I know that they um, also had a mirror, like one of the handheld mirrors, and it looked pretty much just like this, but bigger obviously, but it was a mirror. Um, but they don't even sell it anymore. They did, I don't think they restocked it or maybe they are planning on it. Um, but I couldn't find it anywhere on the website. So maybe it was like only during the launch, um, time or whatever, but I was kind of sad. I should, I should have picked one up. Anyway, I'm super happy to finally gotten my hands on this. There was three other or two other shades, but this is the popular one. Um, so very glad to have, like I said, happy to have finally gotten my hands on that. All right, and then last but not least is what I picked up recently from Ulta. What do you know? More ColourPop products. Um, sometimes in the, my local Ulta, they will have like kind of not new, new releases from ColourPop, but they'll have like the certain collections every now and then. And they had the, I don't know what, what the name of this collection is, but it was like the lemon kind of collection. I don't know what it was called, but anyway, I picked up two of the gel liners because um, I've been trying to get more eyeliners, you know, more colorful ones. Um, anyways, so I picked up two of their cream gel liners. Um, this, they're in the shade, this one's in the shade Castella and something extra frosting. Um, I'll go ahead and pull them out and do swatches of them. They had two other ones there, but I don't, I can't remember what the other one, I know one was blue, but I don't really think blue would look good on me. And I forgot what the other one was. But they had like everything there from this collection. They had the palette and then they had some blushes and lip glosses. I didn't grab the palette because it wasn't really like my palette, my color scheme. Um, the glosses didn't really look like anything or lip products didn't look like any, any shade spectacular. Or the shades didn't look any, like anything that I don't already have and the blushes just didn't look like my color story. I could perform more like pinky navy coral kind of peach colors but um these uh blushes were kind of more like like nude colors like uh i can't i don't know how to describe it just very nude kind of like almost like bronzer kind of looking shades but it wasn't bronzer but anyways i didn't pick them up just because i didn't think they would i didn't feel drawn to them anyways there's the two colors i picked up this one's the frosted extra frosting and that one's castello or something whatever but the pencils, I really like the look of these, uh, the packaging on the pencils. Really cute looking. Anyway, so I picked up these. And then, um, I've been watching like, I've been watching like highlighter collection, just collection videos, like makeup collection videos, which by the way, I do plan on doing my makeup collection videos soon. Just haven't gotten around to it. But anyways, um, I saw people raving about this, and I know this is an oldie, but a goodie kind of thing. I just had never picked it up, so I saw it in Ulta, and I went ahead and picked it up. This is the Wet n Wild, Wild Hello Halo um, highlighter and blush highlighter kind of thing. I mostly got it just for the highlighter. I'm not a big fan of blush toppers, but I mostly got it for this highlight here. So it looks so pretty, and... This is so, like, Wet n Wild is so underrated. Like, they're affordable. And, uh, like, they have some pretty good quality stuff. Like, look at that highlight. Blinding. I'm going to go ahead and swatch the other one as well. Even though I probably won't use it that much. I mean, I may use it, but... Blush toppers, it's just, I have such textured skin sometimes that blush toppers just, they're pretty, but they don't work for me because they just accentuate, they just accentuate my texture. I kind of swatched it in a weird place, but I think you guys can see it. So that's really why I don't like, man, this uh, gel liner is not coming off very easy. 
anyways that's why I don't typically go for blush blush toppers like shimmer blushes because it just I just have such textured cheeks that um, it just really makes it emphasizes I think it's the word emphasizes it really exaggerates my texture anyways so, but yeah all right last two things which I wasn't planning on buying when I went in there. I just happened to go in there and I was like, ooh. But I bought a couple of things from Benefit as well. And I think these are like recently launched or new released um, because they had them like in the front. That's usually where they put stuff that's like new. Um, but they're, these are the Foroscopes uh, blush, bronze, and highlight palettes. So I got Earth Angel here and then I got fire queen as well and some um, this one has three exclusive shades and this one only has one i like benefits uh, products a lot like their face products like i like the hula bronzer and they have some pretty nice blushes and highlighters as well some of these i already have like i have hula i have several hulas now because i've bought in several palettes like face palettes and they usually have the hula bronzer in there but here's what this packaging looks like. It's very nice, kind of very earthy looking. And then on the inside, so we have the Hula bronzer, we have Cookie, which I already have these three, but I mostly got it for this because I don't have this shade here. And this is an exclusive shade. Um, this is the shade Honeymoon. So I'll just do a swatch of Honeymoon because I feel like the other, um, the others are kind of known shades from Benefit. But anyways, I just got it because, well, for one, it's a good deal because, all right, I know this price is still pretty pricey, but I paid $36 for this, but the value of it is like $94. So I like buying these bundle things like where they kind of lower the price because, you know, just for the Hula bronzer would probably be like $30, but it comes with, you know, although these two pans over here are smaller, but I mean, that's pretty good size pan in my opinion, you know, just for a highlighter because that highlighter is super blinding in. It's not going to take much. And then this is mostly like a topper shade or something, but you know, these are two, I would consider that like full size pans there. So they usually cost like, I'm pretty sure it's like $30, but anyways, here's that blush shade. I think it's a nice, very pretty color. All right. And then fire queen, that's super, again, cute packaging. Love the packaging. Now this one, you know, it's hard buying makeup now because you don't get to see, um, or swatch anything right now, but this one might be for more of a darker skin tone. Not really for sure. Um, but I still think the colors are really pretty. So I only have the bronzer again. I don't have any of these three. Those are, these three are more like the exclusive shades. Um, so I'll go ahead and swatch the three of them. So we have Starlit over here. If you hear any background noise, um, there's a helicopter or something going by. All right, so there are the shades. So this one does look kind of dark for me, but I think I can get it to sheer out. Yeah, I think I can get it to sheer out a bit. The highlighter is right, right there, but I don't know if it's catching it very well. But anyways, there they are. Swat, you know, I swatched them, showed them. I think. I think I can be able to get it to, I think I can get it to work. I just have to go pretty probably light handed with that one. But I just think it's a gorgeous shade. But let me know down in the comments if you guys want to see reviews on anything that I've showed you guys today. Um, and I can do that for you if you do. But yeah, there you go guys. That is my little mini haul. Um, yeah, those are the products that I've recently picked up and I'm excited to try them all out. Um, but yeah, that is going to do it for today, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you like seeing these types of videos. And also let me know down in the comments what you guys thought of the products that I recently picked up. 
Have you guys picked up any of these products? Um, do you like any of these products or have you tried any of these products? Um, let me know down in the comments. I love chatting with you guys down there. But other than that, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and a wonderful week. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye. Thank you.